Lo escuchamos. Lo, que, lo escuchamos. Can hear me? Adelante. Thank you. Thank you so much uh, for inviting me and uh, I wish all my farmers and industry friends in Mexico a uh, very good morning from India. I know there is uh, an afternoon, but uh, right now it's uh, uh, almost very early in the morning, 1 and 1 a.m. So, uh, thank you, Gabriel Luna. It was always a very pleasure listening to you because you are a very strong authority on uh, the market analysis and the market predictions. But me, uh, friend, uh, I'm a farmer and uh, I would like to talk uh, the entire topic as a farmer's perspective. So, uh, as everybody is very sure uh, that, you know, uh, the world production now today uh, is driven by mostly two countries, eh? Ecuador and India, because they produce almost 30% of the, the, the world shrimp. So, it is very, very important for the farmers in Mexico or the farmers in other farming nations to see what other countries are doing and because they are the major drivers for the market and profit and profit, profitability. So Indian shrimp production, uh, the way forward we'll talk about. So we can see that, you know, India is an out and out, uh, uh, one of the largest shrimp producer. Now it has been taken over by Ecuador. And if you see uh, India, we started with Monodon in 1985. We call it a Monodon era. And then uh, the production was not more than 60, 70,000 tons in India. Then we demanded uh, the Vanami to introduce in our India. So after a proper COVID study in 2003, uh, officially it was declared in 2009 fit for our country. And you could see then after that, Vanami, Tsunami, Indian stream production, like today, how uh, Gabriel Luna has shown in 2013, how every year, 100,000 tons shrimp production has increased in Ecuador. Same thing story has happened in India that that from 2010 onwards, every year we have add on almost 100,000 ton and we have even reached to the peak of 8, like 800,000 ton in 2019. But uh, there is a huge difference between uh, the countries like uh, Latin America and India because uh, we have a shrimp farming area, one, one, 150,000 ton. Uh, thousand hectares and uh, the average production if you see is uh, 5,500 uh, kg per hectare per year. But the very important for the world shrimp farmers to understand that India shrimp farming per, per unit holding is very less. Whereas in Ecuador, I have visited many times in Ecuador, I have seen uh, the farmers from 200 hectare to uh, 4,000, 5,000 hectare, very big farms. But in India, the land holding and the, uh, the, the farms are very small, uh, uh, not more than uh, five hectare per individual farmer. And, uh, it, and you see today, when we talk about COVID and the uh, other scenario which has impacted shrimp farming production, 90% of our Indian shrimp production is dependent upon the export market. So, my friends, uh, what, what I'm going to tell you today is that, you know, whether Ecuador or India, both together, they are producing 1.5 million tons, which is 30% of the world shrimp uh, consumption, is purely dependent upon uh, the export market. Even, even I know uh, with my experience and my visit to Ecuador, there is hardly any domestic market in India, uh, in Ecuador. And also in India, domestic market is a very, very big problem. So, uh, in India also, if you see, uh, Andhra Pradesh is a major shrimp producing uh, hub, but where I belong to west coast of India, Gujarat, uh, the shrimp farming has started in 1997 and, and with Monodon. And again, in 2010, we picked up uh, Vanami doing, and then we completely um, uh, not doing the Monodon. And, and, and in 2013 to 2017, in my area of the country, the shrimp farming was very peak as as as, we, as was in Ecuador, and uh, the downtrend started. As we have 
we have inland saline which is a very very potential productive lot of uh, new development trends are happening in this inland low saline area in india especially in punjab and haryana and uh, you you could see that uh, uh, that added to the new bucket of the resources and today we can say we have 9.7 million hectares uh, uh, of area available for shrimp farming but only 15% area has been developed and we have really reached almost number one number two shrimp producers in the world so there is a there is a there is a huge uh, production capacity in india if you see the shrimp farming scenario in india if you see the states top state i said is andhra pradesh with 71% shrimp production followed by west bengal 10% odisha 7% and then followed by gujarat and tamil nadu and other states so still if you say 70% of the shrimp is coming from east coast that is andhra pradesh and if you see that gabriel gabriel has given a beautiful slides and graphs about the world shrimp market but if for india and ecuador definitely usa and china is the big, big major share of the market but in in post covid after 2019 we see a deep decline in our china market but gradually we are increasing europe middle east japan southeast asia but still if you see our 60% market is still usa and china and then we'll talk about india and its production capacity we see we have a shrimp hatcheries 500 plus we have feed companies 25 plus most of the feed companies are with uh, foreign technologies but their production is in india but there are few companies right now still like unipresident and spreading they're still importing feed in india but post covid uh, they have a lot of uh, issues in uh, in the price change and the transportation mode the cost of uh, logistics are really really rocketed up and we have processing plants uh, uh, like us and eu approve close to 650 numbers we have very good high tech aqua labs and pcr facilities for disease surveillance is 105 plus we have healthcare products companies 200 plus so these these are the basic infrastructure which, which india has and then then coming back to the seed production capacity in india where we talk about post larvae production total number of hatcheries are 500 plus we have brush stock supply company in india for more than 10 companies and uh, the sis and konabe blue genetics are the top top major players and on an average from last 3 years india has been importing close to 250000 uh, numbers of uh, brush stocks uh, vanami brush stock and india has also started uh, two brush stock multiplication center uh one is government and one is private uh if you see overall uh, the seed production capacity in india is 125 billion seed post larva per year but presently uh, the seed production is around 75 million billion we we talk about uh, uh, resources we talk about seed hatchery but when talk about processing which is the mainstay of the entire export game we can say our seafood export association is one of the strongest and uh, the best association we have as as i said 650 processing factories but we have a very good uh, uh, processing uh, capacity per day more than 33 35000 uh, tons shrimps can be processed per day and we have 350 eu approved processing plants and uh, 1500 plus numbers uh, as a registered exporters and and last year uh, on an average we have been doing close to 38000 crore which is close to almost like 3 billion us dollar then indian shrimp production you can see last 3 years uh, you can see from 7 uh, 150000 ton in 2018 we have jumped uh, by 20% in 2019 for 800000 ton but you could see in 2020 people say because of um, the the pandemic the covid but me as a farmer i think uh, when, a lot of farmers when they try to produce more because now i a lot of my ecuador friends do might be listening to me uh, i'm trying to warn them uh, when you try to produce more more uh, per per unit area so you compromise your carrying capacity so in india you could see very clearly and especially uh, in my area gujarat uh, in 2018 we have produced 55000 tons in 2019 there was a drop of 10 to 12% but in 2020 you could see it's a drop of 50% 
50 percent drop mostly we the, the positive carrying capacity has been compromised and now farmers are facing a lot of lot of production issues uh, through because of the disease and technical issues so you could clearly see from the graph in 2020 uh, we in india there is a drop of 20 percent production and then challenges what me as a farmer uh, what are the major challenges in India? Because one side, uh, there is Ecuador who is producing very well, very cost-effective shrimp and, and, and putting into US and China, which is the biggest competitor for us. But other hand, in India, uh, post-COVID, because of logistics, because of a because of lot of shutdown, each and every production cost like energy has gone up especially the feed cost because of the short short supply of the soybean meal, the fish meal supply, the feed prices have gone by 20%. Seed cost definitely because of the lack of brewstock import because all the scheduled flights, all the um, uh, air, air, air travel, everything was restricted. So there was problem in getting the, the brewstocks, everything, labor cost, everything has increased. On the other hand, when the cost is also increased, but the disease, the continuous eruption of diseases and the new diseases has created a lot of havoc uh, into the farming system. And when, when there are diseases, there are some farmers, they will definitely try to use some uh, healthcare products which, which, which will give a trouble in certification and traceability. So there, there is a lot of issues are also coming up in, in the exports uh, 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 supply and the food safety issues are coming up. So these are the major challenges what Indian stream farmers right now are facing. But if you see the world shrimp basket, when you talk about how India and Indian shrimp production and the Indian shrimp farmers have, uh, will impact with the global competition and global market. If you see, uh, I'm not a, a big authority on the market analysis, but as a farmer, I'm, I'm trying to give you my perspective about my, my my area and production, how it is going to affect the farming. So if you see the world shrimp market is close, closely 5.4 million ton. If you see Ecuador, the number one now in 2001, I think it, uh, 2021 it's going to pro produce close to 0.9 million tons. And Indonesia is doing good back. Vietnam is going doing, doing, doing very good. And India is already, uh, you know, we are into the close bracket of 0.7 to 0.8 million ton production. So as global scenario, how is going to uh, really benefit uh, out of that, uh, especially Ecuador and India, because they are producing 30% of the world shrimp. But in last two years, if, if now you see that a lot of people are uh, in home, their expenses, has, uh, they have saved a lot of money. And the market prediction is that uh, the, the spending will definitely grow in next, uh, next year in US because there is a saving of $2 trillion, uh, they say. And even EU is going to gear up back to recovery on path because they, they've been funded with 910 billion funds. And China, as a sentiment, you could see that last two, three years, they have not consumed that much from India, but, but their economy is really booming up. And now they are the number one in the world when you see their, their GDP growth. So I think even China is going to do very well next 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 two, three years. So global uh, market scenario is really catching up. People, people are loving the, the good nutritious food. So the food services demand returning back to normal. Uh, I don't know how this uh, new strain is going to affect the world, but right now the position seems to be very good. And even in Europe, once the restaurant and uh, hotel uh, cafeteria will open up, so the consumption is going to definitely increase up. And slowly also from India, the other countries like Japan, Australia, Canada, Russia is also showing a lot of interest uh, in buying shrimps from India. So me as a farmer and as an industry perspective from India, what India shrimp industry, uh, what is really needed is, is definitely to improve uh, on, on the farming side is to have uh, a specific pathogen resistant seeds, SP tolerance, uh, uh, specific tolerant for disease, not rely, completely relying on a specific pathogen free. We need good breeding program from India itself to, to, sub, to uh, help the farmer and to cater to supply because uh, uh, post-pandemic and in-pandemic, we have understood that the, uh, the uh, 
sudden uh, restrictions into the travel can uh, really expose you uh, open when you are completely depend upon foreign inputs, especially the brood stocks and all. So need for domestication program, even for the polygate worms and blood worm is very, very important in India. And above all, uh, to be very competent uh, with uh, Ecuador and other uh, countries where their production efficiency is very high. Because India, if you see the cost of production in Ecuador versus India cost of production with the same count shrimp shrimps, India is almost $1 and $1 half more uh, in cost production because of the input cost. So Indian farmers need to find may, 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 ways to um, or uh, bring the cost effectiveness uh, in their production so they can be as competitive as to the prices what Ecuador offers to the world. So this is very, very important for Indian farmers to understand. And me as a farmer, I will tell you, last two, three years, uh, though farming is doing good, but because of the international prices and the competition from other countries, especially from Ecuador, the, the price offering to Indian shrimp farmers were very less. So I, I decided, uh, because I got a chance, so I decided to go back to Monodon. So Black Tiger has come back to Monodon, and thanks to the good work being done by Moana, now, now they have... Uh, uh, they are also establishing a nucleus breeding center uh, in India. So this is what uh, Monodon is reverting back to India. And uh, me as a farmer, why farmers are rethinking about getting Monodon? Because people, farmers are not making money. And here, whether it's Ecuador or whether it's Mexico or India, Vietnam, any country you see, the entire industry depends upon farmer success. If farmer doesn't earn, the industry will not churn the wheel. So it is very, very important for farmers to earn money so then only the industry can move. So India, uh, especially in my area, a lot of uh, uh, seed quality issues, exports, uh, and, and finally the farmers are not earning by producing uh, 40, 50, and 50, 60 counts in India. As Gabriel Luna said, that they are, Ecuador hardly produce 5% of 30 count, and but most, most of the shrimps that comes from uh, 30, 40, 40, 50, and 50, 60. So India, in my area, uh, the smaller sizes of 40, 50, 50, 60 are actually not affordable for me because of the high input. So I need to always produce bigger sizes. So I opted to go back to Monodon. There was a lot of issues uh, in my mind because a lot of people in Ecuador also think Okay, SPF is not uh, suitable for them, uh, even monodon is not suitable for them. So same questions came into my mind because I was a monodon farmer. Then I thought uh, I con converted entire to uh, Vanami and we have been suffering from uh, white, uh, white fecal diseases, EHP and all. So whether how this SPF monodon will behave, that were the primary questions. And then then I run the crop from last five, six months and I found it that Vanami Monodon was very good growing into the same pond of Vanami. You could see the average ADG. I have got almost like a five gram growth per week, uh, every sampling. And in 110 to 20 days, my shrimps has grown to almost 50 gram, 20 count. You could see uh, me in the farm and this crop, I have completely stopped Vanami and converted to all Monodon and it was a very good uh, uh, dividend for me. And that's what I say that whether it's a monodon or Venami in India, what India actually needs is the domestic market. Because if you talk about China, the biggest example, China themselves, they produce 1.4 million tons of shrimp, but, but they also export, import so much, uh, uh, almost uh, uh, 1.5 to 2 million tons of shrimp they, they, they import. And that's what it is shows the power of the domestic consumption. So I, I, I appeal to Ecuador people, even my Indian people counterpart, that we have so much investment in our industry, but our entire dependency on exports is going to be kill us someday. So it is very important for Ecuador farmers and associations and also India that uh, we should really invest in campaigning uh, for our good shrimps. And it's, it's worth... Uh, quality to our own domestic consumption. So unless and until we have a support from domestic consumption, Ecuador and India will definitely land in trouble. So this is what uh, uh, our good government has done, thanks to our um, Indian government. They have brought a uh, 3 billion package, uh, which is close to like 20,000 crore rupees in Indian. So that is called our Pradhan Mantri Matsa Sampada Yojana. It's like our prime minister's 
fisheries scheme for uh, development of uh, aquaculture in India. So you could see there is a huge outlay from the government. It's almost like three billion. This is the the uh, what's a flow chart of the investment and the flow which is government Indian government is going to do for India. So this is this is this is what uh, uh, I'm, I'm going to talk about. Uh, this this one minute. Some slides are left. You you could see when I was talking about uh, this slide. See why 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 I shifted to uh, monodon because you could see uh, I have given a comparison chart from seventy count to twenty count in India with the prices. Uh, farm gate prices, and then I also have given in, in the US dollar. So when India in my area, the shrimp farmer cannot afford to sell at $3.2 because the cost of production for 70 count in my area is $3.2. So that's why I have given the return on investment is on the negative side with the red side. You could see the break even for farming in my area is 40 count, 25 gram vanami, then only I can uh, start earning some profit. So it is very, very important uh, in my area to produce the bigger shrimp more than 30 count. So, so the disease scenario is not allowing to do that. So this is very, very important uh, for, for me to shift a uh, farmer like me. So I will 100% I can guarantee you, uh, except Andhra Pradesh, the, the, the states like Urissa, West Bengal, Maharashtra, and uh, Gujarat, my part, will slowly, slowly try to convert into monodon if, if the market uh, uh, definitely accepts. But I think uh, in next uh, two, three years, definitely you will see uh, 20 to 30 percent of our Indian production will slowly shift to monodon. That's for sure. And this, this is the, this is the uh, great thing what even Indian government is doing and they are uh, advocating a very strong campaign for the domestic consumption. You could see all their advertisement in the social media and they are doing a wonderful job. You could see all their banners and advertisement which is coming to Indian market. So I think India is definitely going to see another two, three years a quite big, good investment uh, in, in domestic market. So my take home message uh, for the farmers, uh, those who are listening to me from Mexico, also from Ecuador, that you know, uh, farmers need to uh, uh, gear up that uh, how to be efficient and how to understand the international market and how they can make profit. Because uh, here it is very important for Ecuador uh, farmers friends to understand how long they can uh, continue the graph of pro producing. Can they afford to produce more than 1 million or 1.5 million and still make the money? Because in India, when, when the production has increased, farmer didn't make the money. So finally, there, there you can see there is a drop. So it is very, very important for farmers and the system uh, of the country to understand that how the primary production survives industry. If farmers survive, then only the feed company will survive. Then only the exporters will survive. And that is how they, they, there is a rule. So it is very important for farmers, whether in India, Ecuador, or Mexico, they should survive, they should make profit. Then only industry will run. So uh, my take home message that India definitely requires uh, quality improvement in certification and they also need to uh, convert as, as Gabriel Luna has shown that Ecuador is slowly converting from head on to headless and value addition. So India also need to be very skillful in adding their value to cater to the competition in the world market. And India has a vast resources. Definitely India, if develop the new resources, they can easily uh, catch the production of Ecuador and we can also has the potential to produce more than 1 million metric tons of shrimp. But my suggestion is that producing more is not going to solve the problem. Producing more is going to create more problem. So producing optimal and profitable is the, is the main game. So price sensitivity and competition uh, right now, another two, three years, I think uh, Ecuador will be the biggest competitor to the world market because the cost of production versus the price they offer is very competitive. So India don't have a chance uh, another two, three years to compete uh, with Ecuador. And uh, yes, last but not the least, unless and until India doesn't develop domestic market and also Ecuador. Uh, there will be not a profitable equation between farmers and the world market. 
thank you thank you so much for giving me this chance and um, uh, this is how uh, you know uh, um, i end my presentation thank you so much gracias